Welcome to this video tutorial on how to download and import LiDAR data into Rhino. LiDAR data can give us an accurate 3D model of the Earth's surface which we can use to generate terrain models or contour maps of our particular sites we're looking at in Rhino. You can download this data from a variety of different sources on the internet and I'm going to be using Digimaps to download this particular data set. I'm going to start by going to the LiDAR download option in Digimaps and we're going to find an area of the UK of which we want to download our data from. You can also download LiDAR data from other countries in the world as well and most countries will have different sort of open source options of downloading this data and I'll put a few links in the description of this video. As you can see here on the left we've got different accuracies of data that we can download and the 25 centimeter option is only located in a few places in the UK. This is the most accurate LiDAR data we can get, but we can also lap it to a one meter accuracy, and you can see we have many more options for places we can download this data from. For this particular example, I'm gonna choose a place along the coastline in which I'm gonna download my data from, and we're just gonna select the area we need. From here, you'll see that once we select an area, the format we're downloading this is an ASC format, and this is pretty much the generic format you're going to get LiDAR data in. So once we do that, we're just going to request the download and then we're going to bring this into Rhino. I've opened a new file of Rhino and we're working in a meters format here where we're going to bring in our LiDAR data. Now I'm going to be using a script that I found on the Rhino forum here to import our ASC file. You can see here, I'll put a link to this page and there's a little tutorial that you can follow on a PDF format and then you've got this Python script here which we're going to be using to download and import our ASC file into Rhino. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Rhino and then to start this process we're going to type in run Python script to run that script I've just shown you on that forum. This script is called ASC Grid Importer and it allows us to import these ASC files into our Rhino file and also turn it into a mesh or a surface with which we can use in our file. So we're gonna select that and then it will ask us to select our ASC file that we want to import. And I'm gonna use that data I've just downloaded from Digimaps there and hit open. It will give you a bit of data on that file, which is the kind of size of the file is giving you the extent of that and the origins of where it's based. We're gonna just hit okay. And then we've got an option for the density of the grid that it's gonna create. Now, if we're gonna have a really dense file and often with the 25 centimeter files we're downloading from Digimaps, there's gonna be quite a lot of data there. So we might not want to put a point at every location of data in this file. Essentially, ASC files are made up of lots and lots of tiny points. And in this script, we can actually reduce that point number to make the file a little bit lighter to work with. So for this example, I'm just going to select two here to use every other point in the file to make it slightly less dense than the original file. It asks you for a Z height data to use if there's any data missing. We're just going to hit enter and keep that as zero for now. And then the objects to output, we can select a surface if we like, but this sometimes takes longer. Point clouds are very quick, but the meshes are usually the most useful format because it gives us a surface that we can use for working into or creating contour lines from in this case. So I'm gonna use mesh, select that, and then hit enter. Now it involves a process of kind of processing and converting that point cloud file into our mesh file. And depending on the speed of your computer and also the density of the ASC file we're bringing in, this may take a long or short amount of time. You can see mine's just finished reading and now we've loaded up the model here. And let's just expand that out. So here we have our fully formed mesh from that ASC file. And you can see we're getting a lot of detail here from this bit of coastline I've downloaded. We've got the cliff face. You can see there's kind of little bits of detail in that cliff face as well. And we've also got some of the kind of hills and hedges and streams that are formed on the top of that surface as well. So you can see compared to perhaps contour lines or generating terrain models from a basic sort of surface skin, this gives us a really detailed and high resolution model that we can use in our files. Now from this, we can also extract a series of contour lines from this model. And I do this just using the contour tool in Rhino. Often to make this easier, I usually draw a little 3D box to the side of my model. It doesn't matter on the height of this, we're just using this as a way to help us draw the contours. Then if we select the model, 
like so. You'll see that it might take a little bit of time to select because these are usually very dense models we're using. I'm going to type in console here and it will ask us to select the base point. This is where my cube comes in. We're just going to select an edge of the cube and a point above that edge there. And then a distance between contours I'm going to keep as one meter. This, if we're using a meter scale in our file, should all be scaled correctly. So I'm going to hit enter. And then depending on the density of the file and the speed of your computer, this will then cut a series of contour lines up through my mesh to give us a contour map of the area as well. So you can see this type of file is really useful and very versatile to create very detailed looking models and contour lines that we can use. And there you can see we've got a contour map of that area too. So that was just a quick video tutorial on how you import ASC data into your Rhino file and turn it into a mesh for use within your models. I hope you found this video tutorial useful and if you want to watch any other videos on modeling and visualizing in Rhino, please check out the videos on the channel.